Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you how to download your photos from Auto Backup if you were smart enough to enable this feature um, and you, let's just say something's happened to your phone, you've dropped it in the toilet but you had Auto Backup enabled so all of your photos are safe but you have no idea how to access them what we do is we go to plus.google.com that's easy, sign in with the same account that you were using on your phone then up here, mouse down to photos and then you want to go to all photos and give it a little while this would be faster but I've got to put up with Tony Abbott's rubbish Australian internet alright here we go now up there you see this little down triangle in the search box you want to hit that and hit auto backup these are all your auto backup pictures now there's a couple of ways to go about this say you only want to save a couple images you just select only the ones you want one at a time that can be time consuming and then you'd hit more and then you'd hit download and it would download a file with only those images in it but we're gonna go the whole hog here say you want to select more than them but you still don't want to um, select every picture that you've ever uploaded <laughs> you can just click and drag over here like you would a folder in Windows and you'll see we're dragging out a selection and just use your scroll wheel on your mouse and you can just scroll through them all and select a whole bunch of pictures all at once some really bad ones of me in here now, uh, and we'll just do that and then of course just like last time you'd hit more then you'd hit download and it will download a zip file but um there's one more way to do it and this is to download every photo you have ever uploaded to Google Plus ever it's called Google Takeout just search for it and it's google.com oh, fuck off I've asked uh, google.com forward slash settings forward slash takeout you just go in there <coughs> create an archive select nothing at the start and then just go Google Photos and you can select individual albums if you really want and you can, I believe you can find auto backup in there but there may not be if you can find auto backup in there, see I've made a ton of albums then whatever, but if you can't, just download the whole bloody lot and just hit done and that then will create another zip file and download them straight to your computer nice and easy but for this video I'm just going to select a couple of really quick ones here that don't have much file size so I can download them quickly just so I can show you what you're in for once you um, have got your archive it'll take a minute to download there we go open up your file and you'll find that it's a zip file now I'm using WinRAR here but on most people's computers it'll open up just as a folder from here you can do pretty much anything you can go to your DVD drive your CD burner or whatever uh, and we wait for mine to stuff around because it's rubbish yeah. either way you can just drag and drop if you put a blank in your DVD drive you can drag and drop them in burn them to DVD whatever if you um, plug in your new phone with USB your new phone will appear here, you can just go in there, then you can just drag and drop them straight into your new phone, not a problem. You can do anything you want with them once they're on your once they're on your computer. Hey look, a duck. But anyway, have fun with that. That's how you get your photos out of auto backup. If you were smart enough to enable auto backup, 
and unfortunate enough to have your to phone go into the toilet or the washing machine.